Hello, and thank you for viewing this presentation on the Federal Gainful Employment Regulations. In this presentation, we will provide a brief overview of the regulation itself and provide some useful advice for administrators to help ensure institutions are meeting their obligations under this regulation. It is important that we understand the regulation itself, and in order to do that, we will need to take a quick look at the history of the regulation. Gainful employment was first introduced by the Department of Education in 2010. The regulations were modified due to a successful legal challenge and were fully implemented in August of 2015. What is a gainful employment program? For the purposes of the federal regulation, a gainful employment program is any program offered by a for-profit institution and any program that does not lead to a degree at a nonprofit institution. All certificate programs are likely to be classified as gainful employment programs. The gainful employment regulations require institutions to annually disclose and report on any gainful employment programs that they offer. Disclosure means that institutions must prominently display information about occupations that programs are likely to lead to, as well as annual completion and progression rates and student indebtedness. These data must be disclosed on the pub program's public website. Gainful employment also requires institutions to annually report data regarding student time to completion, loan balances, and employment. Programs that do not result in gainful employment, as measured by students' loan repayment habits, face a series of interventions from the department. These interventions, if unsuccessful, could lead to programs losing eligibility for federal Title IV aid. Given the complex nature of the data required and the consequences for failure to comply, it is important that institutions create a plan with all relevant internal offices to meet the reporting and disclosure requirements. Offices as diverse as financial aid, the registrar's office, the bursar's office, the academic dean's office, institutional research, and others need to be aware of the requirements and their role in the coordinated effort of meeting them. Of course, the gainful employment regulations were not designed simply in order to give administrators more work to do. Their purpose is to ensure that students are enrolled in programs that are going to lead to positive economic outcomes for students. While internal stakeholders will be involved in generating the data, continually meeting the challenge of gainful employment will require coordination with external stakeholders as well. In thinking strategically about the gainful employment requirements, it may be helpful to think of the process as a three-legged stool. Institutions must engage with students to ensure that programs are available and provide the appropriate training. Internal offices to ensure that data is being developed and presented properly and that programming offerings are robust and dynamic enough to allow programs to meet the demands of gainful employment. And finally, local businesses, employers, and policymakers in order to ensure that program offerings suit the needs and vision of the community at large. Of course, after this presentation, you likely have more questions about the gainful employment regulations. To get more information, a good starting place is the Federal Student Aid Gainful Employment website. You can access that at the URL on your screen. Thank you for viewing this presentation and best wishes as you navigate the challenges of gainful employment.